I just happen to have a glass of Halliburton's clean stem green frac fluid. So I'd like to actually mix a little cocktail here before you all tonight. There have been some very notable escapades in public where people from the oil and gas industry and even the governor of Colorado has in public consumed fracking fluid with apparently no deleterious effects. So let's toast to one of the greatest technology advancements of all times. So please join me in a toast to the freedom that all of you in hydraulic fracking bring to America. Would you drink fracking fluid? Sure. If you went item by item in terms of what the components are, then I would uh, take a drink. The point of seeing executives and politicians drinking fracking fluid was deception. It was an attempt to convince the public that there is no harm from the process of hydraulically fracturing a shale gas or a shale oil well. It's deceptive in the sense that it's the least of the problems. What goes down the well is not nearly as important as what comes up the well. So the principal constituents of flowback from, from shale gas consist of salts and naturally occurring radioactive materials that have been stored safely underground for hundreds of millions of years and now are being brought to the surface into the human environment. We didn't experience the recession that everybody else did. The influx of the gas workers and the lease money and the production money really propped up our local economy, our local businesses, our hotels, our restaurants. Right over the hill is a, a nice guy who taught his whole life, hardworking guy, has 200 acres. His kids are probably not going to have to worry about money. <laughs> I don't think that the American dream was pennies from heaven. I don't regret that some families in Pennsylvania have been enriched by Marcella shale development. What I'd like to see on the part of policy is the net effect on society. There's so much like controversy about it, like whether it's good or whether it's bad, and I don't, we don't know too much about it. The fracking that has went on here has had no impact on this trout stream, and they are keeping a close eye on it. Probably 15 plus wells line the tops of these hills. I know last year this stream was retested and tested a class A native trout stream. This is flowback water. It comes out of the wellhead after a hydraulic fracturing process. In some cases, they put 15 million gallons into a well, and you can expect, in some cases, 40% of that to come back out. Every time this machine flashes A, we are measuring radon gas. We're now 15 minutes into this test for radon. We can say that the radium in this vial is thousands of times over the legal drinking water standard based on the EPA limits. I would dare them in public to drink flowback. There would be uh, public vomiting. It's naturally occurring radioactive materials. It's just one of the areas that must be clearly addressed with regulation. We're a stakeholder. It's in our interest to be as uh, environmentally responsible as possible for no other reason to not get sued. Sometimes we get um, some gas industry guys come in and get large to-go orders and sometimes they leave us nice tips, which we really appreciate.